So today, in today's class, we will see what is meiosis. The next division. In the uh, in my previous videos, you have seen how mitosis takes place, and after the mitosis is over, all the daughter cells, the daughter cells which are formed, they all have the same number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell. Now we are going to see a, another type of cell division which takes place only in the reproductive cells or in reproductive organs. For example, in human males, testis is the reproductive organ in males. So um, in testis, the sperms of the gametes are produced by the process of meiosis. And in uh, human females, uh, ova or ovum are produced by the process of meiosis. Similarly, in flowering plants, you have already seen in class 9 that um, anthers have pollen grains which are produced by meiosis. Similarly, ovary has ovules which are produced by meiosis. Now, in this module, in this uh, class, we will see how meiosis takes place and why meiosis takes place. First, we will see how and then we will our approach will be to see why, why meiosis takes place. Now, as I told you, Meiosis is helpful in formation of gametes. Now, one more thing about meiosis, I will tell that in chromos in mitosis, you have seen that uh, the number of chromosomes remain same in the daughter cells. That's why mitosis is also called equational division. But in meiosis, you will see that number of chromosomes will be halved. So that is the reason why meiosis is also called reductional. Reductional division. Reductional means what is uh, reduced, the chromosome number is reduced. Now to understand meiosis, let us first see this particular uh, part of the board. So mother's ovum has 23, suppose in case of human beings, there are 23 chromosomes because gametes are produced by meiosis. So gametes, when gametes are produced by meiosis, the number of chromosome becomes half. So a normal human being has 46 chromosomes. So when these chromosomes go into the gametes, so number of chromosomes become half. So similarly, the mother will have half the number of chromosomes in her ovum and father will also have half the number of chromosomes in the sperm. Now, when mother's ovum and the sperm fertilize, undergo fertilization, these 23 chromosomes and these 23 chromosomes come together so how many sets of 23 are there? There are two sets. This is one set of 23, second set of 23. So we have two pairs, uh, sorry, we have, so we have, sorry, so we have 23 pairs. This is one pair, so we have 23 pairs. Now, talking about these 23 pairs, I would like to show you this particular figure. This is this this is this diagram uh, given on page number 23 of your book. You will see that this is the arrangement of human chromosomes. So in all there are 46 chromosomes and you will see every chromosome has its matching pair. So this is one pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair, five, fifth and twenty-third pair. So every chromosome is having its own matching pair. Matching pair means in which way they are matching? They are matching because their shape is similar, size is similar, the position where their centromere is similar. So how these two chromosomes are similar? Because one chromosome, see two sets means 23 pairs. So there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 pairs. Now one pair is coming from the mother. And one pair is coming from the father. So one, one chromosome of this pair is from the father. And the other pair, other member of this pair is from the mother. Clear? So that is the reason why meiosis takes place. So that half the mother's chromosome and the father's chromosome come together. And restores, restores. 23 pairs means how many? 46 chromosomes. So restoration, restoration of original, original chromosome number. Why there is a need of restoration? 
definition of original chromosome number? Because if there is no halving of the chromosome, what would happen? 46 and 46 would fuse together and it will not, like the daughter cell which will be formed, the zygote which will be formed, it, it will contain more than 46 chromosomes, which is not possible in case of a human body. For the human bodies or human beings, identification is its chromosome number. It is 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. So, meiosis helps in restoration of original chromosome, chromosome number. Apart from that, there are a few more things we will, we will see. But before that, as I was telling you, I was telling you a few minutes back, that each pair, each member of the pair, each member of the pair, this is one pair, there are two members. So each member is similar to each other. So this similar pair is known as homologous pair or homologous chromosome. If you assume this to be a homologous pair, first pair for example. So they are similar in shape and size. And why did I show you, uh, use two different colors to show? Because I want to tell you that one member has come from the mother and the other member has come from the father. So these two similar chromosomes, one from mother, one from father came together and formed a pair. So this pair of chromosome is known as the homologous pair or homologous chromosome. So if you draw a homologous chromosome, so this is one pair, suppose it is from the father and this is another pair similar in shape and size. It is from the mother. You already know that these two are sister chromatids. And these two are sister chromatids. Now, similarly, these are two sister chromatids, two sister chromatids. Now, these two, these two are, for example, for example, This is one sister chromatid, one uh, chromosome from the father and this is the other chromosome. Now the red ones, the red chromatids are the sister chromatids and the blue are the sister chromatids. Now one red and one blue will be known as non-sister, non-sister chromatids. Fine? Now if you have understood this, I am telling once again. These two chromatids are sister chromatids. These are sister chromatids. Now, this is one pair of chromosome. One coming from the father, one coming from the mother. They look same. So that's why they are homologous chromosomes. Alright? Now, each arm of the homologous pair, suppose one arm of this and this is known as non-sister chromatids. Now, we will see how. First, we will see now how meiosis takes place, then we will see why meiosis takes place. First is how meiosis takes place. How the chromosome number becomes half. Now, imagine this is the testis. One cell of the testis is having 46 chromosomes. So, during first division, meiosis always remember it takes place in two steps. In two steps. Meiosis takes place in two steps. What are those two steps? First step is meiosis 1 and meiosis 1 is known as reductional division. Reductional and second step is meiosis which is known as equational, equational division. Equational division means just like mitosis, just like mitosis, just like mitosis. Okay, yeah, just like mitosis. So what happens? Let us see here. First division is meiosis 1. So when this cell will undergo meiosis 1, what will happen? Reduction, reductional Division, so 46 chromosomes will get divided into two daughter cells and the chromosome number will be reduced, right? 
chromosome numbers will be reduced so there will be 23 chromosomes in each of the daughter cell. Now this each of these cells will undergo meiosis 2. So this is meiosis 2. Meiosis 2. And second division of meiosis 2 is equational division. Equational division means number of chromosomes remain same. So 23 will again remain 23 chromosomes only. Fine. So this is how meiosis takes place. How meiosis takes place in two steps. Reductional division that means meiosis 1. In the first step chromosome numbers become half. So that is meiosis 2. In meiosis 2, what happens is equational division, number of chromosomes remain same. So 23 chromosomes will give rise to two 23 chromosome bearing daughter cells. So this is one very important feature of meiosis which differentiates it from the mitosis. What is that? In mitosis you have seen there are two daughter cells formed but in meiosis you will see there are four daughter cells. In meiosis there are four daughter cells. Each daughter cell has half the number of chromosomes. Fine? Now, next thing is one very important point. Why did I show this to you? Very important point is one feature which takes place during meiosis 1 which is known as crossing. Crossing over. This is a very important point which really really makes meiosis different from that of mitosis and this is the only reason why all the human beings are in some way or the other individual they are different from each other even uh, a mother's children are not alike even a, a child does not maybe the child has some similarity with the father or the mother but they are not identical copy of the father or the mother. Why? Because of this particular feature which is taking place during meiosis 1 which is called crossing over. Now what happens in crossing over? Let us come to this homologous pair. So in our body there are 23 homologous pairs and what happens in those 23 pairs? There is a crossing over taking place. Crossing over basically means crossing over means breaking and rejoining breaking and rejoining of what of non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. So non-sister chromatids, so red and blue are non-sister chromatids and homologous chromosome pair is red is one, blue is one, they are the homologous pair. Why do we call them homologous pair? Because they are similar in shape and size and one has come from the father, one has come from the mother. Father's gamut brought this red Mother's gamut brought this blue, they came together and in the child they had a pair. So that pair is called the homologous pair. Now during crossing over, especially where crossing over is taking place? During meiosis. Where meiosis takes place? Meiosis takes place in the reproductive organs. For example, testis or ovary or anther or uh, in flower ovum, uh, ovary. So what is happening in crossing over? Breaking and rejoining. So what is breaking and rejoining? This red and blue chromosomes, they will overlap. Suppose these are two chromosomes, there will be part of the chromosome of the non-sister chromatids will overlap. They will form an overlap. So once they form an overlap, can you see this? This is the overlap. So what will happen after the overlap? There will be breaking. So this part will be broken, this part will be broken and rejoining. So this part will unite, blue will unite with the green and the green will unite with the blue. So later on what happens? There is a recombination. What recombination? Genetic recombination. That means that it is nothing just like cut and paste. 
so we are cutting something we are cutting the chromosome from this non sister chromatid one part of the non sister chromatid is cut and pasted on the non sister chromatid of the same homologous pair for example i'll show you i'll show you what happens so during crossing over during crossing over what happens is these two chromosomes which chromosomes are they they are homologous chromosomes and the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome lie close to each other just like this they lie close to each other for example so they are lying close to each other so that there is a point of contact so this point of contact is called chiasma so there is a chiasma formation so what happens in chiasma formation there is a point of contact because of this point of contact because of this point of contact this is the point of contact so because of this point of contact this pair is held together closely this pair of chromosome is held together closely so how many arms do we see we see one chromatid second chromatid third and the fourth chromatid so this particular condition where there are four chromatids lying close to each other held together by a chiasma so this structure is called a tetrad tetra you already know tetra means four so there are four one two three four so there are four chromatids which lie close to each other now what will happen breaking and rejoining now what will happen breaking and rejoining so this part will break so this part will break and rejoin how will this rejoin rejoining take place look closely look closely so this blue part will rejoin 